Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining me for yet another lesson of Swahili. So today I'll be telling you about commodities and how to call different common commodities and things in Swahili, okay? And of course, we won't lack some bonus words, all right? So let's begin. So the word here today is soap. Soap. So soap, the thing you, you use for cleaning. Soap. In Swahili, it's sabuni. 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 Soap. Okay? So when you want to say, give me soap. Give me soap. Nipe sabuni. Nipe sabuni. Nipe, give me. Nipe sabuni. Nipe sabuni. Nipe sabuni. Okay? Nipe sabuni. So that's give me soap. Alright? And soap in Swahili is sabuni. Sabuni. So probably now you're asking yourself if sabuni is soap, how do you say go bath? Okay? Go bath. Go bath. Or go take a shower. Go take a shower. Okay? And a woge. And a woge. Alright? So the meaning for bath is in Swahili is oga, 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 bath, oga, bath. Okay? So when you say end a woge, it means go take a shower, go bath, go take a shower, end a woge, end a woge, end a woge. Alright? End a woge. And the closest word to woge is woga. Alright? Woge. And a woge. Woge represents go bath. Okay? Oga. Oga. Go bath. But woga. Oga is bath. Woga is fear in Swahili. Alright? Woga. Fear. Woga. Fear. And a woge. Go bath. Go take a shower. And a woge. Another common word for commodity is for... So here we want to say alcohol. In Swahili, we say pombe, 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 pombe. And maybe you want to say, where is the alcohol? Where is the alcohol? Where is the alcohol? You say, pombe koapi, pombe koapi, pombe koapi. All right. The other word is, uh, let's make another sentence. We say, let's go drink. Let's go drink. And specifically, let's go drink alcohol. Let's go drink alcohol, all right? Twende tukunyo pombe. Twende, let's go. Twende, 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 let's go. Tukunyue, drinking. Let's go drink. Let's drink. Tukunyue, all right? All right, so let me let me let me do this. Kukunywa, kukunywa is drink in Swahili. Kukunywa, kukunywa is drink, all right? Kukunywa. So if you say twende, let's go. Twende let's go twende let's go tukakunywe we drink let's go we drink let's go we drink alcohol pombe okay twende tukakunywe pombe twende tukakunywe pombe twende tukakunywe pombe all right twende tukakunywe pombe twende let's go tukakunywe so that we drink pombe alcohol another word for a commodity or a thing is Nyama, nyama, nyama. So nyama is meat, meat, right? Nyama, nyama. So one of the most popular delicacies in Kenya is nyama choma, nyama choma, nyama choma. So nyama choma is goat meat, all right? So prepared goat meat. So you say nyama choma, nyama choma. So if you want to say, I want goat meat. You say, nataka nyama choma, nataka nyama choma, nataka nyama choma, I want goat meat. Nataka nyama choma, nataka nyama choma. If you want to say, let's buy goat meat, you say, tununue nyama choma, tununue, alright? So, nunua, nunua is buy. Tununue, let's buy nyama choma, the goat meat, alright? Tununue nyama choma, tununue nyama choma. Alright? When you want to say, let's eat goat meat. Let's eat goat meat. You say, 
tukule nya machoma tukule nya machoma tukule nya machoma tukule tukule nya machoma i told you in a previous episode or pre- previous video kula kula is it right kula it it right kula chakula chakula is food okay so tukule nyama choma tukule let's eat nyama choma let's eat goat meat tukule nyama choma tukule nyama choma right another thing and translation from english to swahili is fire fire all right fire you say moto 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 right fire moto moto in swahili fire moto moto when you want to say music in swahili you say ngoma 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 all right so that's like the popular uh, word for music ngoma 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 okay ngoma another word i'll say here is when you want to say party party you say sherehe 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 party so this is the most common swahili word used for party is sherehe sherehe when you want to say let's go party you say twende sherehe so always remember twende 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 is let's go twende twende sherehe let's go for a party twende sherehe twende sherehe if you want to say i love partying napenda sherehe i love the party napenda sherehe napenda sherehe i love the party napenda sherehe napenda sherehe in swahili when you want to say something is cool cool you want to give something a uh, thumbs up uh, let's say somebody says do you like the nyama choma remember nyama choma is goat meat do you like the nyama choma iko poa iko poa iko means it's it's the translation for it's all right and poa is the translation for good iko poa it's good iko poa iko poa iko poa all right or you can say ni poa ni poa ni poa is so ni is the translation for is in swahili and then poa is good so when i say is good is good ni poa ni poa but if you want to say it's good you say iko poa iko poa another translation is a simple translation is slowly slowly you say pole 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 all right pole 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 slowly pole pole all right so also here there is a common word for bus bus so bus depending so the public transport in Kenya the so there is the small 14 seater for you know the Nissan here we call it matatu matatu all right matatu for the public transport matatu matatu all right so also in Kenya you'll find there the you know you might find there you might get a chance to see the pimped up uh, kind of like mini bus rides in Kenya those ones we call them nganya any 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 car you see with you know probably the graffiti and it's almost customized you say nganya nganya so when you say nganya it's the public transport that you know is customized has all kinds of art and graffiti nganya nganya all right nganya and then the 14 seater the nissans you say matatu matatu all right matatu when you're talking about the big buses you say basi basi so it's basi basi all right so let's say you want to say the bus is going slowly or the bus is moving slowly you say basi nenda pole pole so pole pole is slow pole pole slow pole pole slowly pole pole basi inaenda 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 it's going inaenda it's going slowly the bus is going slowly basi inaenda pole pole all right Okay so you have faster in English in Swahili we say haraka so you might say basi inaenda haraka the bus is going faster 
basi inaenda haraka haraka so haraka is faster haraka haraka faster okay when you want to tell someone hurry harakisha harakisha hurry harakisha the other common word for a thing is chair so when you want to say chair in swahili you say kiti kiti and when there are many you say viti viti okay so kiti one chair when there are many chairs viti 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 all right so there is the translation for table table okay table you say meza 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 table right meza when you want to say cup cup in swahili you say kikombe 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 so you want to say give me a cup nipe kikombe give me a cup nipe kikombe 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 cup all right cup kikombe all right when you want to say bottle bottle you say chupa so when you want to say give me a bottle of water give me a bottle of water you say nipe chupa ya maji nipe chupa ya maji so chupa chupa is bottle chupa maji maji is water maji water nipe give me nipe chupa ya maji ya ya okay give me ah all right okay give me a bottle of water ah nipe chupa ya ah so ya is a swahili translation for ah all right ah so give me a bottle of water nipe chupa ya maji nipe chupa ya maji nipe give me chupa bottle ya ah maji water right another word common is photo so you want to say photo a photo a picture you say picha in swahili picha picha okay picha so picha is picture in english picha picha maybe you want to tell someone take a photo of me nipige picha nipige picha all right take a photo of me nipige picha picha is picture nipige take a photo right take a photo of me nipige picha nipige picha maybe you want to say let's take a picture let's take a picture so maybe you have seen a view and you say let's take a picture you say to pige picha to pige picha to pige picha to pige you know it's a doing word to pige to pige let's take a picture picha to pige picha all right to pige picha and also you can give somebody a camera and maybe you are standing with somebody here and you say to pige picha so you you are telling them take a picture of us okay take a picture of us to pige picha all right another word is a common word is name so name translation in swahili is jina 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 all right jina and in a sentence you can say jina lako ni gani what's your name jina lako ni gani jina lako ni gani gani is what what okay jina lako ni gani what is your name jina lako ni gani jina jina name all right gani what jina lako ni gani okay another word for commodity that is common is plate so you have plate in english in swahili you say sahani sahani nipe sahani give me a plate sahani nipe sahani give me a plate okay the other word here so that you can make a complete sentence we say kijiko kijiko is spoon spoon in swahili all right nipe sahani na kijiko give me a plate and a spoon nipe sahani na kijiko sahani is plate kijiko is spoon all right 
Nipe sahani na kijiko. Give me a spoon. Give me a plate and a spoon. Give me a plate and a spoon. Nipe sahani na kijiko. So by now you know nipe is give me. Nipe. 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 Okay? Nipe sahani na kijiko. Give me a plate and a spoon. Another word for visitor. So maybe somebody invites you over to their place and you are the visitor. We will say mgeni. Alright? So wewe. You. Wewe. Wewe. You. You. That's a bonus word. Wewe. You. Mgeni. Wewe mgeni. Okay? So remember I told you ni. Ni in Swahili represents is. So you say wewe ni mgeni. Wewe ni mgeni. You are a visitor. You. You are a visitor. If you want to say me, I'm a visitor. Me, I'm a visitor. You say mimi ni mgeni. Mimi ni mgeni. Mimi means me in English. Okay? So, mimi ni mgeni. I'm a visitor. Mimi ni mgeni. I'm a visitor. Mgeni, 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 visitor. If you are many, you say wageni, visitors. Okay? Mgeni, wageni, visitors. Wageni, many, visitors. Alright? But if it's one person, mgeni, mgeni. Alright? So here is a greeting. And in Swahili, I told you a greeting is salamu, salamu. Alright? Salamu. So you can say mambo. That means hello. Mambo. Hello. Mambo. Okay? Mambo. So this is a common, uh, it's one of the common uh, greeting that you can greet a person, especially in Kenya. Mambo. Mambo. Right? And they say poa. So mambo means hello. Mambo. Poa. The response. Poa. So poa means good. Alright? Good. Ikopoa, it's good. Mambo, so this is in the salam, it is in the greeting, which is salamu, salamu in Swahili. You say mambo, poa, mambo, poa, all right? Mambo, poa. So I tell you mambo, hello, mambo, and you tell me poa, poa, good. It means good, all right? And the word for bad, so maybe you want to say, maybe you're, you're not having such a good day. So you say bad. In Swahili, it's mbaya. Mambo, mbaya. Mambo, mbaya. Mbaya, all right? So mbaya is bad. Another common translation, you might want to say you're having a good day. Good day, all right? Good day. So already we know good, you say poor. So the translation for uh, for good in Swahili is poor. Good. Poor. Poor. And the translation for day. 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 You say siku. Okay? Siku. Alright? Siku. Siku. Day. Siku. So you want to say good day. Siku poor. Siku poor. Okay? So, so this is in the context of how's your day? Are you having a good day? Or you want to say, I'm having a good day. You say, siku poa. Okay? Siku yangu ni poa. Let me give you a full sentence. I'm having a good day. Siku yangu ni poa. Yangu. Yangu means mine. Mine. I am having a good day. Siku yangu ni poa. Siku. Siku. is day. Siku. Okay? Poa. Good. Yangu. Mine. Yangu. Yangu. Yako. Yours. Yako. Yako, yangu, mine, yangu, yako, yours, okay? Siku yangu ni poa, ni, I told you ni is, is, is in English. Siku yangu ni poa, siku, siku. And you can say, siku yangu ni mbaya, siku yangu ni mbaya. Mbaya means bad, bad. Siku yangu ni mbaya, yangu, mine, alright? As I wrap up this video, let me give you a few bonus words, alright? The first one is, okay, okay, 
in Swahili you can say sawa sawa so sawa can mean okay or can mean yes sawa sawa okay it's like you are agreeing to something sawa 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 right uh, so maybe you want to say no no you say apana 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 no apana 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 all right no apana no apana okay maybe you want to say nimekata you want to say so that means i don't agree nimekata 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 i don't agree nimekata i don't agree if you want to say i agree you say nimekubali 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 okay sawa okay sawa yes sawa apana no apana so as we finish uh, the last three words the first one sit down ka chini all right chini chini is down ka sit ka chini sit down ka chini so this can mean you want to sit on a chair all right and remember i've told you chair is kiti kiti if there are many viti kiti viti ka chini ka chini sit down simama stand simama stand so remember here simama can hold two meanings simama can mean stand or simama can mean stop simama stop simama stand and as we finish another word for yes is ndio ndio yes ndio 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 thank you so much i do hope you are having fun as much as i am having fun educating you on how to speak common swahili especially when you're visiting Kenya for the first time all right so the idea for these videos is so that you can understand these words so that anytime you speak them somebody a local can know that you know swahili even if you know a little swahili they will see that they will they might think or you want them to think that you know a bit more of swahili so they will be very cautious when they speak swahili around you so they won't be able to speak behind your back all right so this is the idea for this uh, la uh lesson all right so a healing lesson and i do hope you are learning please comment in the comment section if you are learning if you want me to you know to give you a translation for a word i'll be happy to do so so here is my paypal information in case you enjoy this content and you want you want to send a tip to me send it via my paypal information here is my paypal and thank you so much for deciding to send a tip to me i really appreciate the other thing is that here is my contact number in case you travel into the country and this country is kenya all right thank you for watching